I think you just felt different in it. Like yeah. obviously, if you if you going into Chelsea and then like you going oh, going away with, like with, with the, the national, national squad. Team. Yeah, I'm going right. away with the national team. I'm on, on international break. <laughs> like, Rinsing it, innit? Yeah, that was like I'm going on Sounds international. Sounds official, but yeah. this is very official. My boys would be like, "Oh, you, you coming back? You coming out?" I'd be like, "No, I'm on international break. Sorry, like, <laughs> sorry, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, sorry, like. Sorry, like. Most of it was like it was a lot of traveling. And mm. obviously you're representing your country, so it's, it's different. It's different. It's different. You know what I mean, and then on top of that, you're playing with the best people in the world from other teams. Yeah. Before. You're playing against the best people in the world. You're playing with the best players at your age. In you know? the country. So yeah, in the country. So it's in like, the world. Yeah. So it's like it's 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 different and it's a learning experience because you'll think that you're doing well in your environment mm. and then say if you go to international and then you see people that it's different at the top of their team you're like all right that's that's my competition like that's all right then like obviously international levels are different different kettle of fish not even just listen i taste shit when i i uh i was growing up i always wanted to be that guy who comes off jumps off the team boss you know what I mean? Look a wash bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look a Gucci wash bag and take it. Yeah, just be that guy. You were that guy amongst other guys that are that guy. Mm. Who have you actually played against then, like, on international level? Because obviously there's Spain, there's Germany, there's France, there's there's Brazil, there's... It's England. Like, I think if you... It's if, mad. If you name anyone that's around my age group, I've played against them. And I remember the, the maddest one was... Um, so we play against Leroy Sané and um, I remember we played against him um, he was at Schalke weren't he yeah so we played against him at Schalke and then I'm in I'm in a club in Manchester and like two tables are just chilling and I turned one of one of my boys goes oh that's that's Leroy Sané over there and I was like what Mad. Turned over, I was like, oh, yo, yo. Went over, I was like, yo, oh, what are you doing here? Like, what's going on? And he was like, oh, I'm looking to move here. Like, uh, I'm looking at a club. And I was like, oh, who is it? And he was like, oh, I'm thinking about City. And I was like, I swear down. Like, Shoot. I was like, well, obviously from Germany, I was yeah. like, oh, if, if you're ever around and this time we're living in yeah, Manchester, yeah, yeah. I was like, just hit me up with chill. Like, yeah, yeah. and um, I remember he got a massive move to City and I was like. Mad. <laughs> like. Mad. Mad. Just, just. It Little. seems kind of normal though, isn't it? Because obviously you're one of the best in your country yeah. for your age and he's one of the best in his country for his age. So him getting a move to City, yeah, that's mad, but it's kind of like yeah. my levels, when you, if when you, you know what I mean. I think I've just got used to when I see players go on a big move or even a move in general, I'm just like, oh, okay. Because at, at the end of the day, it's football. Do you know mm. what I mean? At the end of the day, it's football and... Um, it's very unlikely that someone stays at a club for a long time unless you're like a, a John Terry or someone like that. Like a lot of players move about, jump mm. and change in different environments and stuff like that. So I think it's just something that you get used to. Yeah. 